Alrighty, it is David and Jennifer here with you and we just got back from Atlanta on a design job for a couple of days there with also Matthew who you'll see in the video. He is a long time team member here at David Christopher is just a part of the family. He's been with us how long? 12 years, 13. Like 12, 13 years. So we always have a great time with him when he goes along. And we actually had the honor and privilege of designing, decorating for Kim and Croy Beerman. Yes. So you may know them from Croy actually is a retired NFL player. Um, and they have a show as a family together called Don't Be Tardy. Yes. We were on time. <laughs> we were on time for our project. And so we really got to spend a little bit of time with this family. Such a sweet and amazing family. And on this job, we did some new things that you're going to see in the video. And then we did some things that were spruced up some things that they already had. Just David did some revitalization to some of their trees and you'll see those as we go along. So we're basically going to watch this video with you and just give you any thoughts and things, little extra tidbits that we think you might need to know along the way. So really the first thing we had to do is we had to come up with concepts of what Kim really was looking for in all the rooms so that we could get our orders placed with our import company so that they could pull the merchandise and we could load it up. And as you can see, we had a full load. Um, we were, uh, we had to get a trailer and uh, drive down there and loaded the trailer completely up. The truck was completely full. Even mm -hmm. the bed was completely full of Christmas trees and things. So we were, we were excited. We were getting on the road and um, drove late at night and got to our hotel um, there at um, Buckhead area, Alpharetta, and um, went to bed, got up, and started back again early the next morning. We were on the road again to the actual design location. Matthew's saying hi to you there. So we went to the neighborhood. It was beautiful. So many beautiful homes. The architectural design of a lot of the homes was just very gorgeous, and we couldn't wait to get started at the Beermans. So here we are actually at the Beerman's house. This is a little uh, kind of intro into their Look at their little their rubber house. ducky. Yeah. It's so it's cute. The they're just real people like us as well. They have children, they have a family, and I just thought the duck was so pretty. David gets started on Kaya's room. Yeah, so we were we were in a hurry. We only had a couple of days. We have so many decorating jobs and so many places to be and not enough time to do it this time of year. People calling constantly that we have to tell them we're sorry. We literally cannot do any more jobs right now. Um, so we are straight to work. Yes. <laughs> you know, we, we took a brief tour of the house and then we went, Okay, we're going we're getting started. Mm -hmm. So we unboxed the tree, set the tree up. And then uh, Jennifer and I started decorating it while Matt was actually started uh, hanging the garland on the railing mm -hmm. um, for us to start decorating it. And this particular tree is so fun. And Kaya, I will never forget how excited she was when her mom took her to her room when she got home from school to look at the tree. And she was so sweet. She stepped out into the hallway and she looked at me with these just sparkly eyes and she said thank you so much for my tree and it was just a really sweet moment for her to just love her tree and what David had done again this is just fun and a lot of these designs are I know for Kim she wanted this to be for her kids and a lot of their home decorations are for the kids because a lot of people aren't entertaining as much this year. They're not going to have as many people over. And this is just a fun way for the family to have beauty in their home and to get things that they like and that, that they enjoy. And so that's the thing that you always have to take in mind when you're doing Christmas trees is personalizing it for the person who's going to be seeing it the most. It's not for anybody else. It doesn't matter what other people think about it, if they like it or don't like it. If the person that's in the room is going to enjoy looking at it, that's what we always try to keep in mind when we're setting up trees for people is what does the customer want and what's going to make them happy. Yeah, and 
you know, one of the most fun parts of doing this job to me is, especially if, if the homeowner has not uh, seen any of the, the trees that we're decorating or the garland or anything, and they come in and they yes. get to see it and they're just blown away. And that's, that's really fun uh, to hear their uh, excitement mm -hmm. and just see their face. And um, that's, that's just a, a big part of the joy of what we do. And, um, you know, as, as you can see, we, we constantly have business going on. <laughs> Jennifer's yes. coming to me with questions about somebody's, mm -hmm. somebody's asking a question on, um, you know, social media or something where we're trying to solve, solve issues or, or scheduling problems about where we're going next. And, you know, can we come do somebody else's tree and things like that. Yes. And then. It's very difficult to be away from work and you still have to be, you need to be mentally present where you are. And that's why with a lot of our design jobs, we just charge people a daily rate when it's a large job like this because we do have to be pulled. We don't feel like we're being fair if we charge someone by the hour, but yet we're having to take time here and there to answer questions from work and deal with issues and things that happen. We try to do that as little as possible even though we charge by the day because we only have so many hours in the day. And so the longer we're there, the more tired we are. And we want to try to finish up and get the job done. So that's pretty much, I guess, our reasoning mm -hmm. for trying to do like the daily rates and things like that um, as we go along. And for this room, uh, they actually had a lot of, um, there's a lot of gold accents in the room, and then there's a lot of blush, very, very soft blush pink mm -hmm. accents in the room. So we actually, she wanted the candy theme, she wanted it really fun for her kids and everything. And then in the end, I went back and started adding a little bit, we had a, a soft kind of an iridescent uh, watercolor style pink ribbon that uh, just had a really soft glow that worked really well with the colors that were in the house. Mm -hmm. And I started adding more of that ribbon and trying to get a little bit more of a pink base in the room just mm -hmm. so it coordinated a little bit better. Um, but it's a kid's room. We want it to be fun and, you know, uh, bright and vibrant for them. And yeah, I think it turned out really, really well. It definitely did. So this is kind of an overview of the tree finished, and this is with the lights uh, on in the room. And then uh, we also tried to do it with the, uh, the lights off, so you really get that glow from the, the tree and see what it looks like. So this started with the garland here, and David actually put in brand new ribbon. Everything about the garland is new this year. The garland itself, which Matthew did a great job on putting it up. David put the ribbon in the garland. And how many feet of garland did we do? You remember? Uh, that particular section, I think was like 54 feet of lighted garland. And mm -hmm. um, that's one of our thicker garlands. That's a nine, nine foot by 18 inch. Uh, lighted garland mm -hmm. uh, that we actually use for a lot of commercial applications because uh, of its thickness and how many tips it has in it. Um, but it worked great for here because we really wanted to cover both sides of the rail. We didn't want it to be sitting on top, um, like a weird little UFO floating on top of the rail with a few decorations on it. We really wanted it to lean over on both sides of the rail because you can see it from the foyer, but they also, you know, entertain upstairs as well. Mm -hmm. And we wanted it to be beautiful on all sides. And for that, you need it to kind of fall over. You need the tips to be a little bit longer mm -hmm. so that you can actually wire things to the side that, you know, shows the foyer and the side that shows the, um, to the stairs. Right. And if you're looking on how to do this, how to add garland, how to do different things, we have a separate YouTube video. I can put that in the description. 
that gives you more of a, a slower approach that shows you how to do this. But this particular garland uh, took David, myself, and Matthew to work on in order to get it done in the time period because we added a lot of ornaments. We added a lot of sprays and stems and things like that. And so we basically are just a team and we had teamwork. And while David was finishing up on the candy tree, he was kind of back and forth. He's a very ADD designer. <laughs> and so he was uh, basically just I'll start 12 yeah. projects and finish two and yes. then move on to the end. And so he came back and started adding adding a few more things. And we just worked together to get this done in the time that we had. And you can see here uh, that it's starting to look a little bit finished. But I will tell you, my calves are very sore still today yeah. because I went up and down those stairs so many times. And sometimes with boxes that were kind of heavy. So I just considered that my workout definitely for the day in this particular situation so um, you can kind of see the um, the boxes all around us we went through so many boxes mm -hmm. yes. you know, they went out of the trailer upstairs emptied into the garland into uh, the trees and then yes. we had to carry the empty boxes back downstairs and pack them up with all of mm -hmm. our all of our uh, papers and uh, cellophane bags and everything. But. There's a lot of loading and unloading and it's not, you know, the fun part is actually putting things together. But you can see here is a little bit of a closer up look of the garland with it lit up and in the home. And I just thought it turned out so gorgeous. It makes me so happy to see it's so fun. And it's elegant, but it's also fun. And that's what you want when you have kids in the home. You want them to be able to look at it and enjoy it and it bring joy to them. Because a lot of times, like we said earlier, Christmas is all about the children and what they what they like. And um, you can see the lighting here is a little bit brighter. Downstairs, the lights were off. So that shows you how it looks in the night or the evening hours versus the day. And Matt there, he did not know that I was getting him on camera. He was trying to move out of my way, and I'm like, no, I'm videoing you. Jen will kind um, of sneak up with you on a camera angle, yes. and you just, oh, there she is. There <laughs> I funny. am. So I didn't get to do as much videoing, but this was actually a different part of the house or a different view of the house, as you can see. Yeah, this is the landing as you walk in the in the front door. That's, uh, that's the view from the foyer. So we did something a little bit different there. So it would be more visible from the foyer area. And this is a before picture. These trees have been in storage. Kim and Croy had them in storage. And so David refreshed them, revitalized them. We added a lot of new product, but then there's some products that are still in the trees from last year because they actually just kind of put those on a trailer and store them someplace. So you can see the transformation and the facelift that David gave them just to freshen them up. So you can use things that you've had in years past, just add some new ribbons, some new products, and they're ready to go. This is the before of one of the swags. Again, this swag had been in storage as well and it served them well last year, but we revamped it this year to add some coordinating ribbon that matched the trees. And you can see how beautiful it looks on their door and just really pops. On to the coastal room. On to the coastal room. Um, coastal tree uh, is always a fan favorite. Um, we used a, a frosted tree base and uh, we got started adding branches in and just, you know, just same thing. We, we unloaded lots of boxes, we emptied lots of boxes, mm -hmm. and uh, it really turned out great. Um, yes. They were really happy with the, the coastal theme. Uh, the kids loved it, and that was, that was really the best, best part. Yes, they really did. And Kim picked out a lot of the things that she wanted on the tree, so that was fun. This mantelpiece is in the family room, and this is where they actually open gifts on Christmas morning. So she wanted it very whimsical, very kid-friendly, and this piece was a brand new garland with all brand new David Christopher's products that we added in and made it just very fun and whimsical to match the tree that you will see next. And this is just a very bright traditional colors of red and green. And I think it turned out perfect. She also says she has a, a picture that a painting that she's going to replace that's very Christmassy. Yeah, they, I currently think they changed wear. The, the painting out there. Yeah. So this was last year's tree getting a DC makeover. It again had been in storage. 
and David worked his magic here, the Whimsical Fun. So you're gonna see a few previous products from last year that they already had on hand, and then a whole lot of new David Christopher's products, including the ribbon and some of the, the different berries, ornaments, the prickly sprays, I'm not sure what those are called. Starburst sprays. Starburst sprays, yes, those are really fun. And you'll see they have their own Santas and some elf legs and gingerbreads. Kim's office. So Kim's office was really uh, something unique and it was really kind of over the top. It had a lot of gold gilded uh, pieces in the room and the furniture and some of the artwork. So I really wanted to go kind of over the top with her, um, with her garland that's on her mantle and really give it some shape and some design. And that's why we, we kind of curled the, the, champagne color metallic bird nest leaves uh, the way we did because we want it to be really something visually stunning as you almost like a, a Christmas sculpture mm -hmm. in that particular area because everything in there was was really coordinated and uh, like I said it had a lot of gold and metallic accents in the room it had a little bit of some ivory I think there was like some some ivory fur in the room a chair and so we really wanted to give it that kind of white uh, with the, the metallic uh, flare and really just be something unusual. And it was an existing piece that David revamped. A few of the ornaments that you'll see are not DC brand. They are something that was, I guess, put together in a previous year. And so he just reworked it to add in our products and to give it a facelift, basically. This next video that you're going to see is the Hollywood tree. And this is basically a before and after shot of that particular tree where it was reworked again. Some of the products that you're gonna see are some products that Kim already had in her home and she liked those products and enjoyed them. So David just added some new ribbon from our David Christopher's collection. He added some sea urchin and various pieces, the stars she already had and it made it beautiful. New bows on the ornaments balls outside. New wreaths for the exterior gates. And those are 48 inch wreaths. That was a really big gate. Yes, and there were two of those that matched. I wasn't able to get a good shot of those before we left, but basically it is a lot of magnolia leaf garland mixed in with some berries, so it's pretty simple. And then you see all of our, our empty boxes. things. We were done. So we have to load up all the empty boxes and all of the remaining product and hit the road and get home to everyone uh, back to the store. We had a great time, an amazing trip. We're very grateful for the opportunity to have spent some time with the Beermans and to also just to have gotten to know them and hopefully make their holiday season a little brighter. I think Kim was very happy. I think so, yeah. So she was very sweet. The whole family was just totally hospitable to us, took good care of us while we were there. And we hope you enjoyed the tour of their home and say thank you to Kim and Croy for allowing us to video this and share it with you all. I know that they um, will be super excited for you to see it just like we are. And we hope you all have a Merry Christmas.